Right, everyone. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me what the difference between my Mac and my PC is and how fast they render out scenes in view. So I'm just going to set up a quick video here. So here's View 10 Extreme. And I have just one of the preset atmospheres loaded. Um, this is the Iditarod atmosphere. Um, you can find it right here under, let's see if we can find it. might be under just sunset spect sunset spectral sunset I did a rod however I don't think I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna go to uh, Savannah's if that's how you say it I'm not really entirely sure I suck at pronouncing words sometimes I'm just gonna I'm gonna take out the ground and I'm just gonna render out the atmosphere I'm also gonna go ahead and um, double click on camera and turn off auto exposure Just give us a minute it's applying lens glare which I'm gonna take off on both of them because both of them kinda render it out pretty slow so <clears throat> I don't know why it's doing it so many times it seems like it's freaking out it's really not it does it for every uh, part that it renders right here I just kinda just want to turn these or keep that on but turn these off there we go so I'm just gonna have no auto exposure natural film I'm gonna have natural film response and no lens glare I'm gonna click OK and I'm just gonna load up the atmosphere settings and I'm gonna make it global radiosity just because that's what a lot of people use I'm also just gonna lower this down to one point negative 1.5 I'm going to raise this to about 80% and raise this all the way up to 100. These are just typical settings that I use. I'm not going to mess with the sky dome lighting gain. Um, I'm not going to mess with any of the clouds. Uh, I'm not going to mess with any of these other than raise this to 1. So the quality boost is at 1. I'm click OK. And then I'm going to render these out in final to screen at 800 by 450 click OK and we're gonna see how fast these render out so um, the video may increase in speed just because I'm trying to get past how fast or get past the slow render I should say but it's gonna be at the exact same speed for the windows so you guys don't have to worry about anything I'm gonna do these one at a time I'm gonna do the Mac first as you can see and then I'm going to do the Windows next. And then I'll get into more information about how the Windows is working. Or how my uh, Windows PC renders is out. So here it goes. alright so it looks like it's done it took about 8 minutes and 42 seconds to render all of this out um, granted 800 by 450 not a very large resolution but we did increase uh, the quality um, of the atmosphere this isn't a really hard atmosphere to render out it has really thick clouds uh, very mellow lighting and these 2D clouds these aren't even 3D volumetric clouds that they have up here for these uh, wispy ones these are the only volumetric clouds that they have on this atmosphere it took about 8 minutes and 42 seconds just to render out the atmosphere so we'll see how it fares on the PC variety with an FX 8350 um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna combine the two videos so you can see here 8 minutes and 42 seconds I didn't pause the video once I'm just speeding it up for um, uh, the you know just so people don't get bored watching while they try to figure out what they want um, and I'll give you more information on this Mac before I end this video so 8 minutes and 42 seconds I'm gonna save the picture as a PNG um, 
absolutely no editing at all. I'm gonna not override the camera. I'm gamma. I'm just gonna make sure that it's at the highest quality possible for 16 million colors. Hit OK. I'm gonna name it Test One Mac to the desktop. Save it down here. Saved. Go ahead and close that. Go ahead and close this. And what this Mac is. Oh, I don't want system preferences. What about this Mac? It's going to go to more info immediately. Uh, you can see here it's a 2.66 gigahertz quad core Intel Xeon processor with 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 560 titanium with 2 gigabytes of video RAM. If you go here, you can see the display and the graphics card, storage. I have an SSD with a uh, RAID space of a terabyte, it's extra space for a hard with an external disk. None of these two really matter, neither does really the SSD. And you can see the memory here 4444, four, 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 making 16 gigabytes. Alright, so I'm going to cancel, I'm going to not cancel, but I'm going to stop this video and start on the PC version.